Before we talk about the treatment of spasticity, I think we should talk about what is spasticity. So after a central nervous system injury, an injury to either the brain or the spinal cord, uh, we see uh, it's not unusual to see an increase in tone, an increase in resi resistance of the muscles uh, as, you, as you try to move them. Um, the severity of this problem can be fr from mild to severe, um, uh, just generally. So, and the treatment of it then varies also depending on the severity of the problem. The problem can be seen in, in actually in any of the muscles throughout the body, uh, starting from the tongue that runs straight down uh, uh, to the ankles and feet. Uh, and so again, you, looking at the treatment of the problem will depend on where the problem is and the severity of the problem. There's a variety of treatments that you can use for spasticity. Uh, generally, uh, treatment is started by doing range of motion and stretching um, and bracing uh, are usually the early treatments uh, for spasticity. Um, if, if that's not effective, there are a number of medications that can be used. Medications are generally uh, helpful for mild to moderate spasticity and often not as effective for more severe spasticity. In more severe spasticity, uh, botulinum toxin injections can be useful, and, and in even more severe spasticity from there, uh, baclofen pumps uh, are sometimes considered where actually a pump is implanted into the person that, that uh, sends uh, baclofen, uh, a spasticity medication, a, a fluid, uh, into their spine itself uh, to help relax the muscles. After traumatic brain injury, spasticity is found in, in about 25% of the patients early on and about 10% of the patients later on in the community. Early on, um, so the people who have spasticity, it can be a transient uh, uh, thing that we see in, in patients after brain injury and spasticity uh, plays a small role uh, uh, later on. There are a group of patients, as I was saying, about 10% of patients who have ongoing needs for, for treatment of their spasticity. And usually it's a combination of, of physical therapy techniques, stretching, uh, injections, medications, and sometimes this, this uh, baclofen pump that we were talking about in more severe cases.